Hi guys, welcome back. I have a tutorial for you, but I'm doing something different. I'm actually doing an all drugstore tutorial. I'm doing one brand. I'm gonna be using all Maybelline products for this look. I actually picked up this foundation and I really wanted to try it out and it just, I, I decided to do an all Maybelline look for you guys because I know I don't use a ton of drugstore makeup. So I wanted to be able to cater to my entire audience and not just, you know, Okay, you get it, you get me. You feel me, you understand what I'm trying to say. So, if you guys wanna learn how I got this look using all Maybelline products, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're gonna get started. So we're using everything from Maybelline today. Um, I went to the drugstore, got a whole bunch of stuff. I know that I've been neglecting the drugstore users for some time, it's been brought to my attention. So, I decided to do a one uh, brand tutorial for Maybelline. So, I'm gonna start with this. I saw this, um, the Maybelline Master Prime Face Studio Primer Base. So, let's start with f face primer. I figured I'd do soup to nuts, essentially. Okay, it's coming out like a lotion. So, let's get this all over my face. It feels really smooth. Um, it smells, uh, you know, it doesn't smell like anything. It smells like makeup, and but it feels very, very smooth. So it feels nice. It feels pretty moisturizing, which I need because I have all these monsters on my face right now. So we definitely need some smoothing action. <laughs> I grabbed this foundation because everyone seems to love it. Uh, it's Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch. I know I have to shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it. And I'm going to apply it with my Real Technique sponge. Um, yeah. So. Okay. Let's cut a little, little applicator. Um, I guess I'll put it on the sponge. I've never used it before. Let's just apply this little puppy to my face. Oh, what color did I get? I got the color porcelain 10. I just wasn't sure what color to get, you know? I'm the worst at um, matching foundation, guys. And from what I've seen on the reviews on this, it does oxidize, so I figured. We'll see. I'm actually getting ready right now to go out to breakfast with the hubs to have some breakfast, obviously. Because that's what you do when you go out to breakfast. <laughs> At around three something this morning, I actually hit 20,000 subscribers on this channel this morning, so I was so excited. So maybe it's like a little celebratory breakfast in some sort of way. I'm looking very white in the camera, but in real life, I don't look that way. I'm just telling you guys. This foundation actually clings to the, um, to the that face primer pretty nicely. I really like the way that looks. Yeah, I like the finish. The finish is nice. I would say that I really like the finish to this foundation. It's really good. Um, this is the Dream Wonder. Nice. Okay. So, next is concealer. I wasn't sure what concealer to get, so I actually picked up two. Um, I got the Master Conceal, um, and this is in the color Light. It's in a little tube. Okay. I have these little monsters on my face that I want to get rid of, so let's see how that works. Okay, let's blend this in. That blended in really nicely. Look at how fast that blended in. Hmm. It just like smoothed right into the skin. It's really nice. Okay. So this concealer is awesome. I'm gonna try the Fit Me Concealer because everyone compares this to which we'll call it to NARS creamy concealer. So let's go under the eyes with this. I can tell if it's if it if it works or not. This looks a little yellow for me, honestly. Looks a little dark, and this is light. I'm gonna get a Real Techniques crease, the uh, deluxe crease brush, and I'm gonna blend this in. Okay, let's go to the Go to the sponge because it seems to be very liquidy. Mialka, you guys see him right behind me? He's causing trouble. What do you guys think? Foundation looks pretty good, right? I like it a lot. 
Okay, so I'm going to use now the Dream Wonder Powder to set everything in place. I'm gonna grab my Real Techniques um, powder setting brush or setting brush, whatever it's called. And I'm just going to. Ooh, that's too dark. <gasps> Ooh, it's too dark. Ah. <laughs> okay, let me brush that off quick. Okay, that's a little too dark for me. So I'm actually just going to use the blush brush to brush some of it on, but I'll just um, not put too much on, just a tiny bit. Okay, so I definitely got the wrong color on this. I got the light one too, like I got ivory, but it's like way too dark. Okay, I mean it looks like a nice powder, but it's just way too dark for me. So I just used it very, very lightly, very lightly. Okay, I'm gonna use actually two color tattoos as bases because I don't have an eye primer. So I'm going to start with this. This is the color tattoo, what is this, beige something? Barely beige well loved you can see I'm gonna actually go in with that same dome shadow brush that I use from real techniques to apply that and I'm gonna apply that to my uh, my lid right up you know right underneath my brow I have so many color tattoos you guys I think I have like almost every one it's pretty crazy now I'm actually gonna go in with this color tattoo in matte brown I'm going to take some of that on the same brush and I'm going to put that on the eyelid. I'm going to blend that out. If you guys have the flesh colored one that's kind of like painterly, you can use that too. Um, I had that at one point but I had given it away because a friend of mine kind of needed a primer and I was like, alright, well you can have mine. And I never replaced it because I'm such a good friend. Oof. I want to increase the pigmentation a little bit so I'm going to actually apply this right here with my finger. Okay, I'm taking a Coastal Suns 250 brush, which even though I didn't technically get it at the drugstore, it's drugstore price. So, just saying. Now that we have our base on, I am going to add some color. I picked up this quad at a recommendation of my friend. And this is Copper Chic. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio. Cool, it's got a cool little sponge. It's got some pretty colors. I'm gonna take this Real Techniques small, no, a Sony Kashuk small eyeshadow brush. And I think I'm gonna go with this coppery color. No, this coppery color. I did. I'm gonna put that all over my eye. Take my coastal sense. Blend this out. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this darker color in, in the uh, palette and I'm going to work that into the crease. I'm going to grab this fluffy brush I got from Coastal Scents and I'm just going to blend that a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take that frosty color and I'm going to do something with it. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to pop this right in the middle. Oh, that's frosty. Alright, we're going to pop that right on top. Just to tone that down a little because I felt like looking a little red. I'm just going to wrap that first brush I was using and that first copper color and then I'm going to run that under the lower lash line. I'm going to bring a little bit more of that color back onto the lid on the outer V. Wam yuck! He's very vocal today. Alright people, we are done with the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to move on to eyeliner. So I'm going to use this as the Maybelline Master Studio Gel Eyeliner. I've had this for a really long time. Um, I tested it out last night to make sure that it wasn't too dry and it's still working. So I'm going to use the little brush that actually comes with it and I'm going to create a wing with my eyeliner. Okay, I'm going to take a smudgy brush like this. This is just an, a little elf brush and I'm going to 
quickly smudge that a little bit just so it kind of gets blurry looking. And I'm going to take what's left on the brush and I'm going to run that under the lower lash line. I'm actually going to go back to the palette and I'm going to grab the darkest shade and I'm going to take a little bit of that and put it right on top of the black here in the corner. I'm just kind of winging it, you know? Sometimes you change your mind. I'm changing my mind. Now for the lashes, I'm just going to go for my Maybelline Lash Sensational. Actually, I really like this mascara. Um, I gotten this a few weeks ago. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom lashes. Come side. <laughs> okay, so now for blush, I'm going to use this. I didn't even open it yet. Duh. This is the Master Highlight Blush in O oh, Coral. It's a blush. lips the final part of this tutorial uh, I'm using this this is the Maybelline uh, the elixir and this is in the color caramel infused I saw this color and I was like yeah I'm getting that color <laughs> and let's add this on I always think these smell like fruit loops every time I smell them it's so funny Okay guys, that is the finished look. Um, what do you guys think of the foundation? I feel like it matches my skin really well. Um, I like it, I like the finish. Um, it's not too matte and it's not too dewy. So I have to see how it actually wears on my skin throughout the day. Uh, the primer seems really nice, so I did like that. I like the way this turned out. It's kind of that, kind of like a grungy, coppery, rusty kind of look. If you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I absolutely love the mascara. It's, it's one of my favorite drugstore mascaras as of right now. And yeah, that's it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, just go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.